What's up guys, Canosaur here. Uh, another quick video. I'm going to do this one on spider mites. Uh, talk a little bit about um, spider mite eradication. I had a few uh, comments on my video about uh, how spider mites are nearly impossible to get rid of. And I'm sure there's going to be a couple questions on how I got rid of them. Because I obviously don't have them. Um, super easy, actually. Uh, I went illegal on this one. And I used a product called Forbid. Um, it's not available in this country. It's usually only available in Canada. Um, I never use anything that harsh on my plants unless it's the Borg. Spider mites are hell. So um, I went ahead and used something gnarly on my vegetative plants. Um, They'll still be in vegetative state for a good three weeks before they go into flower. They'll be washed several times and checked several times uh, every single day for spider mites. Um, I will be using a more organic solution for it now. Uh, I'll be putting some um, I'll be putting some marigolds in the room. Uh, spider mites love marigolds. Um, they don't particularly like. Um, marijuana or cannabis but they'll definitely eat it if it's the only thing in the room so that's why everybody gets attacked with spider mites so uh, in order to deter them from jumping onto my plants or actually help them to jump off my plants if they're still there I'm gonna put a bunch of marigolds variously around the room so they get attracted to the marigolds uh, when I see spider mite damage on the marigolds I'm gonna go ahead and burn those marigolds and I'm gonna redo the process I'll spray everything back down with neem um, or an organic uh, miticide and I'm going to then wash them off again and then I'm going to redo the process with the marigolds until I see no until I no longer see any spider mites on my marigolds um, it, it really helps um, to put the marigolds up in the plants um, and so when uh, you deter them with the neem oil or the spray they'll really hate the cannabis and they'll jump onto the uh, marigolds. I've used this a few times before in the past um, minus the forbid and it actually worked quite well. Um, I applied the forbid with this little machine here that you saw in the beginning. Uh, you guys might have seen like Urban Remo or something like that. Use one of these uh, with advanced nutrients. I got this from my local hydro store. It cost me about 175 bucks. Excuse me, 275 bucks, but well worth it. It's paid for it itself in man hours. The first three uses, no fucking problem. I spray this room down within about 30 seconds, guys. I don't know anybody else who's spraying their plants down in 30 seconds. Um, so. Like I said, I only use one, maybe two applications if necessary, but I only used one application of the Forbid this time because um, they weren't on any of my other plants. Um, they were just on the uh, they were just on the clones that I brought in from a nursery. So um, I usually treat my uh, clones that I bring in. Any clone that's brought into my room, I treat. Um, it's treat treated in a bleach solution with water. The whole clone, including the roots, everything gets submerged in the bleach solution uh, for approximately 20 to 30 minutes. Um, I've had them in there for days, actually. Uh, the bleach is, believe it or not, it is organic. Um, I don't recommend smoking bleach. I do not put bleach on any of my flowering plants whatsoever. They just go on clones that are being treated. Uh, the bleach will kill mite eggs and adult mites. It'll kill thrips. It'll... Uh, help thwart powdery mildew so um, clones are real dangerous to import to your garden guys um, and I don't like giving out dirty clones so take care of your mothers take care of your clones keep everything clean um, I use uh, up to three capfuls about three tablespoons of bleach per gallon of water no more than that um, it, that's only in a severe severe case um, I usually use one to two capfuls or tablespoons per gallon of bleach for the technique. Um, it's safe. Don't put them under high intensity lights um, after you spray them. Uh, let them dry completely and in fact I go one step further and I will wash them off with reverse osmosis water really really well and then um, I use a tea like say Verma tea or make my own worm casting teas 
and go ahead and uh, bubble in those for another hour or so and submerse all my clones in those. Um, it re-inoculates all those microorganisms and stuff and uh, really helps to, um, really helps to uh, get rid of any problems that you might have when you put the bleach on it. Uh, if you guys have any questions about this, you can always PM me. If you guys have any questions about clones, always PM me. Please don't put comments about getting clones from me in my videos or on the comments. Thank you very much. Have a good day, guys.